Good morning. Today we read the best news. Jesus is alive. And I could talk about it all day, but where I want to spend our time are the words that Jesus gives to us in this chapter right after his resurrection. And the first thing that he says in this chapter is, do not be afraid. And I used to think that this was Jesus' way of saying like, you'd better sit down for this. It's gonna be okay. Like, take a breath. But now, I think it's Jesus preparing our hearts for what comes next. And what comes next is hardship. It's a task that seems impossible. Actually, all throughout the month of May, we talked about this in Park Kids with our elementary aged kids, and we framed it with the word determination. Deciding to keep going, even when things get hard. Because what Jesus gives for us to do is hard. In the church world, this is often called the Great Commission, and we find it at the end of the chapter. It's where Jesus tells us to go and make disciples, followers of his, baptizing them, giving them the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey his commands. And when I hear that, I'm automatically reminded of the commands that Jesus did give. When he was asked what are the greatest commandments, he says there are two. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. And love your neighbor as yourself. Our role is to make disciples. People who seek and follow Jesus and teach them to obey those commandments of love. And we will face hardship doing it. There are things and people in this world that will stand up against us. But we do not need to be afraid. Because Jesus is with us. His last words to the disciples in this passage are, I will be with you always, even to the end of the age. Jesus is with us as we go, as we show what love looks like to all the nations of the earth. My friends, that is a big task. But we do not need to be afraid. Jesus is with us. And that, coupled with the new life that's offered to us in his resurrection, that is the best news. And we get to share the very best news with people. So please, Join me today in sharing that news with others, in making disciples, in showing love, and in remembering that God is with us. We do not need to be afraid.